What's up, zombie slayers? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Seven Days to Die Alpha 18. 18.3 to be specific. We are on the experimental branch today. We are going to be working on... We're going to be working on the drawbridge entrance. I should also make a drawbridge entrance for the other side as well. Um, let me really quickly see what it takes to make a drawbridge. I think it's pretty damn expensive. Uh, looks like we got everything except for the springs and the mechanical parts. I did do some work off camera. Um, actually I was streaming and I got a bunch of electrical parts and even more mechanical parts. I also got a bunch of batteries. I mean, basically I just went around and took apart every car I could find, right? It was a lot of fun. And, uh, now I have a lot of resources. Draw. I'm pretty sure I missed something. Yep, mechanical parts. Of course. There we go. And now, reinforced drawbridge power. Go ahead and make that. Um, probably, we're not going to get to this today. This is like kind of like looking into the future. Today, we are going to be messing around with lights. I've been told these lights... Um, first of all, the lights in this game have been simplified quite a bit. Uh, I'm assuming just putting in the word light gives me all the lights there is in the game. If it, that's not the case, please let me know in the comments. Um, but right now, we have the basic light, the industrial light, and the industrial light bulb. All right, We're going to see... I heard the industrial light and the industrial light bulb are really good. They used to be awesome. Awful. I mean, god awful. There used to be a lot of lights in this game. It was like half a dozen, maybe eight lights, and they all sucked except for the basic bulb, light bulb uh, and the spotlight. Um, but now they've taken a lot of them out and they just left a couple of these in. And we're going to kind of play around them and, uh, you know, see what we can figure out. Um, also, you guys gave me a lot of good tips about the drawbridge, a lot of things to think about. And we're going to go over that as well today. Why I'm going to do the things the way I'm doing them. Uh, generator... What else am I missing? I don't think there's anything that I need. Probably need some spotlights too. Um, yeah, let's let's hook up the spotlights. Why not? Why not? We're gonna do some light. We're gonna do some lighting today, man. Um, these things are really cool. Uh, but th can anybody remember what they cost to make? Because I'm looking at these lanterns now, and I'm wondering if they ever, if they really ever took five oil. Did they always take five oil? I thought they took one oil. I, I, I'm not sure. They might have beefed them up in Alpha 18. I mean, they are super duper lit. <laughs> no pun exactly intended. Um, they're ridiculously good, so I don't mind them taking 5 oil. But I think with them taking 5 oil, we're going to go explore other light opportunities. Um, 5 oil is kind of a lot. Um, we'll, we'll use one right now, though, for the time being while we kind of work here. And I kind of want to put it out of the way. Let's just put it right there. That should be pretty good. Give us a little bit of light here so you guys can see. All right, so um, there was a couple things you guys wanted me to do. Uh, the best tip that I got for the drawbridge was to put it up. By the way, the drawbridge isn't working right now because this thing, the batteries ran out. Um, I would actually like to get my hands on some solar panels. Um, I've not seen them at the at the traders. I'm thinking you probably have to have a really high level bartering skill to see them at the traders. Can anybody confirm that? Or I'm not really sure. We'll have to see. All right, so we're going to hook that up. Of course, I didn't bring a wiring tool. Always forgetting something. Oh, as you guys can see right here, I did start upgrading this to concrete. Um, so, that you know, this uh, this home is pretty... I haven't seen a screamer up here in, like, what, 20, 30 episodes? Maybe more? So, I don't think it's really a problem anymore, but still, I upgraded it because, you know, why the heck not? All right, so I got my wiring tool. So, let's go ahead and hook this sucker up to this. And that should be all we need to do. We just need to get some batteries in this thing. Definitely don't need two batteries. Um, refuel and turn on. There we go. And not doing anything. Why not? What are we missing? Is that not connected to the... There we go. Now we're good. Okay. So, um, the best tip that uh, the best tip that I got, okay, was to move the generator to this side. It's a great tip. Um, you move the generator to this side, it kind of fixes all the problems. Um, it's pretty. It's a pretty good idea. The, the reason I'm not going to move the generator over here is because this side of the base is open, right? Th this this side of the base, I don't consider this safety. Like I don't consider this platform safe. All right? And because of that, I don't want to put my generator over here. Now, could you put your generator over there and be perfectly fine? Yeah, you can. I'm just that's just kind of my role playing like gut instinct coming into play. So, it, honestly, it doesn't really matter. You could put it over there, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... I also like the idea of having the cameras on this side. So, I'm going to hook up two cameras, right? And keep them both on this side. I think that might be doable. I think that might be doable. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a camera right up here. Okay, just like that. Well, I guess we're going to move that first. And we're going to put a camera right there. 
Okay. Boom. Oh, another thing I was told is you can use pressure. Actually, we're going to do that. We're going to do it. Can I make pressure plates? Yes, I can. Okay, I was told you can use pressure plates as a relay and it will let the cameras work the way you want them to work, which is actually broken. Um, I'm just going to say right now, it, the cameras are completely broken. Um, at least as I understand them to, to be working. I explained it in an earlier video. If you guys want to go check it out, you can. Um, but I kind of feel like the cameras are broken. But this is going to allow me to take advantage of the brokenness of the cameras. Although, to be fair, there's other things that are broken too. You know, I should probably just go over it. Not everyone's seen every episode. Um, well, let me go ahead and make the pressure plates first. And we'll just make two for the lols. All right, um, the pressure plate's being made. Um, I probably won't use the pressure plate. I'm going to, I'm going to like test it just to see if it works the way I was told it's going to work. But I've actually got a really, I, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take credit for this. You guys actually gave me an even better idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one camera right there. I, no, 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 let's move it in. Let's move it in. I want it right next to the bridge. All right, so we're going to put that right there. Ah, you know what? That's not going to work. That's not going to work. Well, it might. I don't know. Uh, my my original idea was to encase this whole area in here inside a room, right? I, I'm, I was, I was going to put what I was going to do, and I'm, I'm not sure. I still might. This is kind of up in the air. I was going to build blocks out like this and just build this enclosed in here. Just build this all enclosed. That's not going to work with the setup I'm about to do, but you know what? We'll just keep the setup right like this, and if I feel like changing it, I will. All right, so what I want to do is I want to put that one right there. And then I'm going to grab this one. It needs to be repaired. Be repaired? I didn't do anything to you. Who the, how the hell did you get damaged? Huh. That's odd. That's so odd. Who knows? All right, so let's go ahead and put that one right there. Okay. And now what we can do is there's so many. You know what, guys? You guys have given me so many awesome ideas on how to deal with this. I've got 50 different ways to deal with this. And it's all because of you guys. You're freaking phenomenal. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this into this. Remember, if these if these um, cameras are all hooked directly, then it doesn't matter anymore. They will work. And into there. There you go. I mean, that's that's the best setup right there, honestly. And then what we do is... We go like this, and we have one right over there. See, now, I don't know if that's going to work. That might be a problem on the other side. I'm not really sure, honestly. I think we're going to... I think we're going to leave it, and I... Honestly, I think it's going to work. So, uh, we're going to put the trigger delay as five seconds. Not the trigger delay, but the duration. And this one is going... I think you see where we're going with this. This one's going to be right here. I mean, let's face it, that's the best setup right there. I mean, I don't think we have to do anything else. The problem is, like I said, I'm going to want to encase this. This entire area right here is going to be all indoors. And then we're going to have to figure something else out. But for now, I think this will work just fine. So let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? That's not on a delay, is it? Hold on. We didn't put this one on a delay. Or power duration, I meant. Not, not delay. There we go. Alright, so let's see we're out and about. Whoop. Let's see we're out and about. We're driving around or whatever. We need to come home. I know you guys can barely see. Um, but we won't be out here for long. And we come over here and that should come down. Beautiful. Wow. It comes up a little bit quick. I might want to put the delay on this one a little bit longer. Why don't we do seven seconds on that one? And there you go. I mean, that's perfect, you guys. And, like, so many people told me to do it that way. And, oh, see, I don't like this. See, I don't like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pick this up. We're going to put it on the other side. And that, my friends, is much better. It's still going to work. Okay, still going to work. Should go up any second. All right. Now, will it hit me here? See, it won't hit me here. That might be a little bit of a problem. Because the, uh, the camera won't go through the drawbridge. So if I'm walking over from the other side, I do have to kind of go over to the right. Now I can move this thing over a little bit. It wouldn't even be that much of a problem. So let's do it. Let's get this done right. Because if we're coming, if we're coming over here from the horde base, we want to be able. We don't want to have to go to the right. We want it to be perfect. There we go. And that won't even really matter that much. All right. So you go over to here, and you go into there, and it doesn't look perfect, but it's good. It's good enough for my for me. Alright, so that we go over there, like so. 
and put you on a delay seven seconds yeah, put just six seconds it should be okay and yeah that's gonna work much better we might have to aim it down a little bit but let's see Let come over here and boom beautiful oh freaking wonderful all right now while we have the dark why don't we uh play around some of these lights right because like i said these lights used to suck and now i'm told they're great so let's take a look i don't know we'll just have to find out together Okay, so I guess we'll just put one right. I don't. Uh, it doesn't look right, does it? No. Hold on. On face. Hmm. Why isn't that against the? I want that against the wall. See, that doesn't. I don't like it pointing up. Oh, it's not against the wall either. Hold on. We'll get this rotation right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get it. Wow. A lot of rotations to play with here. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Beautiful. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this thing up and see if it's any good. Whoops. Um, I'll just hook it directly up for now just to kind of see. And you press E to turn it off. Pick this up. We've got... Wow, that's pretty messed up. We've got total darkness, and let's see how this light is. And it's not bad. It's definitely better than it used to be. Definitely better than it used to be. Let's see how this one works. Alright, I just want the one. Alright, there you go. And hook you up. E. Turn that bad boy off, and let's see how this goes. Yeah, they're, they're all right. They're all right. I think they work well together. I think that's the thing. They work well together. And that's 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 why I think they're cool. Now, we're going to use... Um, anytime we start putting up lights, we're going to start using electric timer relays. Because electric timer relays will basically make it so they turn off and on depending on the time of day. So we can have them like on during the night and off during the day. So there we go. Let's put that down for now so we can actually see. Oops, that's too much. There we go. All right. Uh, actually, you can stay where you are. You can stay where you are. We're gonna do is we're gonna cut that wire, cut that wire. I'm probably gonna want to put another one right there. So, um, timer relay go all the way out there. Yeah, we could do that. Timer relay. Go right there. I'll put another regular relay down. Um, where's my regular relays? There they are. All right. Now that extra relay is completely pointless. I'm just doing it because I think it's fun. There we go. And then, um, oh, you know what? That can't go right there. That's actually going. That's actually going to be a um another light. I'm gonna put a light right there. I'm gonna put one of these lights right there. So yeah, let's go make that then. All right, guys. I set up some more lights to be made. So let's come on over here and let's see what we can do with these other lights that we have. Um, I made it, I have a basic light. I don't remember making a basic light. <laughs> anyway, I did go ahead and grab the pressure plates and we're gonna kind of see if these pressure plates work the way I've been told. Because like I said, this this setup right here is perfect for what I want right now. But eventually, like I said, this is gonna be an inside thing and then I'm gonna have to mess around with things. So I'm, I'm kind of just curious on how this would work. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now you can put the pressure plate right there. And that should work as a relay. So if I wanted to like relay something, let's just put a pressure plate right there. And let's see if the relay uh, thing will work. So, uh, battery's going into here. Okay, that's going into there. So we're going to cut that. And we're going to cut that. And then we're going to put this motion sensor into this pressure plate. Again, we're just using this pressure plate for nothing else but a pass-through to see if it'll work. And it does. Wow, okay, well there you go. Now if that if that just to show you what I'm talking about in case you guys are confused on what's going on here, if that pressure plate was a relay, it wouldn't work. That second camera would not work. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Well maybe it's because I got saw maybe it's because this camera saw me. That could be the case. That could be the case. Um let's go ahead and cut power here. Let's cut power here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up to here. Just I, I just work with me here just trust me trust me on this okay so we're gonna hook that up to there and then we're gonna hook it up to a relay right and then we're gonna hook it into this camera 
and then hook it into the drawer. Right there, you can see it doesn't work. Right, I'm going to hook that in the drawer just to prove it. Okay, this camera should be spotting me. All right, it's not working at all. You can see right there, it doesn't have any power. Okay, now what I've been told is, instead of using the relay, if you use the pressure plate, that camera will spot you. And you can, and the pressure plates are right on the wall, right on the side of the, the platform there. I mean, they're not even like being seen or anything. Um, so that's pretty cool. All right, so this one has power. We're going to put this into the pressure plate and then put the pressure plate into this one. That has power and it will work. There you go. And just to make sure, we're going to come over here. We're going to let that go up and make sure the other camera's working. So that's cool. So the relays make it so the cameras don't work together. But if you use a pressure plate, that's a way to make it so the cameras work together. Now, like I said before, the cameras should not be working together from my understanding of the way electricity works, okay? Now, I'm gonna, uh, this electricity works generator to the camera. Now, uh, the motion sensor. Now, this motion sensor, from my understanding, is not supposed to send power unless it sees me or, if it, you know, if it sees what I'm asking it to look for. I'm asking it to look for me, um... You know, so when it sees me, right, target self, it should send power to the next item. Now, the fact that it's sending power to the next item means it's not working in, as intended. As far as I, maybe I, maybe I don't understand the way it works. I don't know. Maybe I'm confused. But from what I can understand, it's kind of broken right now. Um, but that's fine. That's not really what we're going to worry about today. Um, I'm going to hook this up to there. And unhook this. And hook this up to there and hook you up to there and that, that one's 100% gonna work it's awesome as long as I don't like it when I, once I decide to put the walls up and make this an inside part of the base we'll switch it around but having the pressure plates be able to work like that is is gonna be very handy for us very handy indeed now while we still have a bit of darkness here we got to hook up these lights okay Kind of coming to the end of our darkness here, but, you know, uh, what are you going to do, right? Um, so where did I put the industrial lights? I see the one industrial. Oh, there they are. Okay. So you will come over here and go. These things are a bit tough to get. Oh, I had it. And now it's going to take forever to get it back. All right, hold on. Take your time. Take your time, and there we go. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of these like so, just for the lulls. And put one right there, and that will be all the lights we're going to need over here. Let's hook all these up. Uh, where the hell is the... Oh, God. On my hot bar. On my hot bar. All right, so you hook up to you. You will hook up to you. You will hook to you. And you will hook to you. And you will hook to you. There we go. Alright, now we got plenty of lights over here. And aim. And this is kind of a not a great spot for the spotlight, but it's alright. It's alright. It'll be good enough. Maybe we can mess around it later. For now, it'll be good. We won't know for sure until it's nighttime anyway. So, all right. So now what we'll do is, so right now, I think it's probably a good time for these lights to go off, right? 4.30, maybe 5 a.m., right? So what we're going to do is, oh, wait a minute. I got to hook this up through here. All right, hold on. One second. You see what I did wrong there, right? We need to hook that up. All right, so it's already hooked up to there. So we hook this up to here, and there we go. All right, so we're going to come right here. Start time will be... I don't know what the start time... What I want the start time to be. Um, I think 20 hundred hours will probably be a good start time. And end time will be 5 a.m. So at 5 a.m., these should go off. There we go. When that clock hits 5 a.m., all my lights should go off. Those, those, time, those time relays things are just phenomenal. I love them. I really do. All right, cool. Looking good. We're going to take this down because this thing does not need to be here. I would like to put up some kind of railings over here I think would be pretty cool. Now, this is this is an annoyance. When I'm standing over here, the drawbridge is going to keep going up and down. But, you know, I don't really see any way around that, to be honest. Uh, well, pressure plates, I guess. Um, all right, where's my auger? Auger, 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 auger. Take this down. Okay. 
There we go. Uh, the other one's not going to be ready for this video, so that's fine. Um, I think what I want to do now is I would like to get rid of this, first of all. I would like to actually um, maybe get some kind of fencing, right? I think uh, wood... Oh, see? 5 o'clock, guys. 5 o'clock, the lights went off. How cool is that, man? We're getting automated, people. You best believe that. Hell yeah. All right. So um, do we want to go at metal fencing for this? Maybe. I'm not really sure what the metal fencing stuff looks like. Let's go upstairs and make some metal fencing really quick. And uh, kind of get a feel of what it looks like. All right, guys. I got it. I got it. It's freaking cool. Um, it's almost perfect in every way. It's new. It, it takes care of corners. Um, oh, my God. It's going to be freaking sweet. Chain link fence, baby. Yeah. So these are all the different things you can make. With this, uh, you know, um, I, I don't remember what the original was called. Hold on. Let me see. I want to I wanna make sure I got this right. Uh, metal fences and railings. So there you go. So I'm going to use the chain link fence because it's brand new. And it deals with the most important thing, like, for me is corners. Corners are such a freaking annoyance. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it too high. I don't really see any reason to make it too high. But I think this high will be pretty nice. Pretty nice. And something I've never built with before, too. Which also makes it cool. There we go. Yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about! It looks so cool! Oh, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, we're all out. I don't really like the way it looks here. It doesn't really... Hmm. Well, uh, see, the only other thing I could do is have this come out. But I'd have to break the whole friggin' ramp down, and I'm not doing that. Uh, there's one other thing I... No, 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 it's gotta stay like that. Nah. See, what I would like to do is I'd like to have one more flat surface come out one. I'd like this ramp right here to be flat. But if I do that, I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. I, you know, I might do it on stream one day. If you come back during a video and it's all, you know, redone, you know, don't be surprised. I might do it on stream someday, but it's not something I'm gonna do in a video because that is boring as fuck. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go get some more. Hell yeah. So this thing's coming along nice. I like this. I like this whole setup here. It's pretty cool. As a matter of fact, I probably don't even need to make this um, enclosed like I was going to. But I, I'm going to anyway. But I don't need to. I could just do, do that chain link fence and stuff. But I'm eventually going to enclose that entrance right there. So, you know. Always go with your gut, guys. If your gut tells you to enclose the entrance, you enclose the entrance. Uh, that's, not what it was. that's right. You gotta make this stuff in the forge. So if you guys try to make it for yourself, it's gotta be in the forge. There we go. And let's get down there and finish it up. Beautiful. So cool. I see why I'm making it too high, but nah. Chain link fence doesn't need to be too high. Maybe I should just. You know what? I'm gonna build it here too as well. Let's go make some more. To hell with it, right? I'm gonna build it down there, and what I'll do is I'll just tear it up when I'm eventually going to build the inside part. But for now, we'll just put the fence down. It's cheap, whatever. We'll break it up. It's not really a big deal. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna make 50 of it. No, not 250, just 50. No, just 50. What the fudge? Why does it keep going to two? Um, just 50, bro. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I'm not sure what he keeps going to. Let's just do this. Oh, you freaking game. <laughs> I hate you so damn much. Um. Oh, wow. I, wow, okay. Alright, game. F you very much. There we go. You guys like watching me get pissed off? You know you do. Come on. Come on now. Don't, even, don't even pretend. Don't even pretend. You know you love it. All right, so let's go put down the ones we can, and we'll call this a video. But um, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm digging it. I really am digging it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I might do the I might work on the entrance again next video. This entrance right here, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Go. So that's gonna stay like that because the drawbridge is gonna be going that way. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks pretty dope. Looks dope, yo. I really wish it would stop doing that. There's no way to, like, not have it do that, though. That's just that's just the way it's going to be. Unless I turn it off. 
But then I won't be able to get back and forth. Oh boy! There we go. Yeah! Alright, let me back. Okay, so... Can we actually put this in front of that? Will that mess with the light? Oh, but the light's gotta be on the inside. Okay. Alright, I see. I wonder if it'll mess with the, um... Hmm. Let's see if it'll mess with the, with the uh, camera. Come on. Nope, does not mess with the camera. Beautiful. And we can't put another one there because the drawbridge is there. I'm going to pick these up, put them somewhere else. Because I want to put down more uh, more fencing there. I'll just put them off the ground. I could put a little table there and put them on the table. That'd be pretty cool too. Problem is if I put a fence piece here, I can't put a table there. So how would I want that? Can I... Oh, you know what I could do? Um, hey guys, I got a nice little setup here for the lights. I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. Um, the cool thing about it is it, you see the bolts right here on the corners. They look like they're going right into the fence, don't they? I mean, they kind of line up perfectly, <laughs> right? So I kind of like that. I kind of like that build up. That looks pretty cool. I'll show you how I built it. So we went ahead like this and just put that in like that. Then we put this one behind it like so. And then you simply place that on top. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is so freaking dope. Oh, all right. I'll put that to there. And every... Oh, we got to hook this one up as well. And they should all be ready for nighttime. Wow. You know what? This is this is looking so good. I might not even enclose this. I probably will anyway. But, I mean, still, it looks freaking awesome. I think the drawbridge looks really cool when it's, in, when it's got an enclosed uh, building around it. And it kind of looks like a door. You know? So, by the way, the drawbridge isn't doing anything because I turned that off. There we go. Alright, guys. Well, I do think we're going to call this one here. If you haven't been enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.